right, so a couple of people on Troy's Inkscape board were working on converting this um, image over into an SVG. And um, so, of course, one way is just to do trace bitmap. And so you go up to trace bitmap. <coughs> and so you were going to do colors. And what I found with this one was that if you see from the preview, you have to go up to a lot of scans. Uh, quite a few to get this really light colored swoosh to show up. So here at seven scans, it doesn't get it. And then here at eight scans, it does. So then if you do that, tell it to trace and then we'll control shift G to ungroup it. You can see that you've got a lot of layers that you're going to have to deal with or um, union together something like that so and then also excuse me hold on I'm gonna zoom in to the swooshes and you'll see that they um, I mean they, they look all right they're just kind of lumpy uh, the original image wasn't all that high resolution and I did try to search online for a higher resolution image and I couldn't I couldn't find one so but anyway I was just gonna show you a different way sometimes Sometimes it's easier just to do things by hand. So let me delete all this other stuff. Oh, I got one more. To make sure I got everything, I'm going to say Control Shift A. No, Control A to select all. And all that I've got selected is the original image that I pulled in. Okay, let me close those things I opened by accident. Okay, so now let's try this uh, with a different approach. So let's go to Path trace bitmap and instead of colors let's use brightness cutoff and let's just set it at the default which is 0.45 and see what we get all right that looks a little too light let's just try it and see yeah we can do better delete okay let's go up to 0.6 update try that okay that looks pretty good you could play around with that some more with different um, threshold options. So now I'm going to show you how to trace. So we got this part, navy blue. Let's just, uh, it's black in my example, but let's just turn it to blue. So Control Shift F to open the fill panel. Click on this little eyedropper here. We're in the fill, the fill tab. Click on the eyedropper and then go click on blue here. And it turned it to our correct color blue. Okay. So now let's just go back to this. I'm going to press the plus key to zoom in. And we're just going to draw these little swooshes because look how pixelated that is. It's not going to get a good trace. So pick our Bezier tool. And let's give it no fill. Now let's give it a fill of black. Just slide this over to black. And we'll give it no stroke. Okay, so now we're just going to click right here on this one it's kind of a triangle it's a curvy triangle so we're just going to click on three points one two three and then join it back to the first point alright we made a little triangle it's not curved though now we go over here and click on the node tool now you can see we have our nodes we can click on them they don't have any handles because they're all corners but check out this cool trick click on the segment the line in between and just drag it out into a curve and then same with this one. Drag it. That's so cool. And then to fine tune it, you can pick these little curve handles and you can play with them also. So that looks good. Let's change its color. Go back to fill. Choose the eyedropper tool and we'll click on this. Now it's the right color. Oh, I see one thing I also need to fix. There's a little curve in this segment also. Just a little slight one. You could even move the nodes around too if they're not quite in the right place. I need to turn my snap tools off because they're giving me a hard time. Right there. Play around with it. Get it just the way you want it. Now we'll do the same thing for the next one. This one's also a triangle. One, two, three, four. All right. Click on the node tool and we'll do the same thing. Click on the little segment and just pull it into a curve. Same thing here. Okay, this one looks like it's curved out a little bit to match the curve of the 
of the guy's arm here. All right. Again, play around with it. I'm trying to go fast. And then the same thing. We can change its color to that one. Whoops. I have to select it first. All right. Now, if we're happy with those, even if we're not, because we can change them later, we can just select both of those. Control Shift Plus to union them together. That's the same as Path Union. Okay, so then the same thing. Probably don't even need. Here's the Bezier tool. Here, one, two, three, and then close it. And then the node tool. Sometimes it's hard to grab onto the segment. <coughs> Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit different, and I'll show you. I'll pull that one out to match the curve as well as I can. And then the same over here. But it didn't quite match the curve here, so I can just click on um, the corner node here, and now I can move the handle to adjust that curve to fit. And then the same thing here. Just pull on the handle to adjust the curve. And you can do the same. I keep losing them. Okay. You know, just fine tune it. And then on this one, I think it's curved out a little bit here as well. Okay. And then finally, this one is actually has four points three, four, and close it. And then the same thing curve. Like so. And I believe it's straight right there. All right. So now I'm going to union y those together, select them both, Control Shift Plus. I'm going to move them out of the way because I forgot to change colors. The picker eyedropper tool, and then click right there. And now they are the correct color. Okay. So we zoom out and we can. Click both of these and group them together. Control G to group. And then we can just move them down here, zoom in, and line them up the way they need to be. Well, you get the point. So, anyway, that's just a different way, sometimes an easier way to. to trace something is to just trace it by hand when it's a simple shape and even more complicated shapes you can trace by hand. Um, so that's just a different technique you can use. I hope that somebody can use that.